up everyone welcome to reality room podcast with chris today's video is going to be a very interesting video because i know there's so many people out there that have really amazing ideas for reality shows um but they just don't know exactly where to start like when it comes to creating the concept of it um the days what the casting is like what's the game about um what's this what's the overall idea and central message you have for the show so today i'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks as to creating your own reality show so that way it'll make your dreams will come true so um i have a couple of tips so let's go with the first tip um we have so your the first thing i'm I, the first thing is your idea should be simple and easy to produce so what i, what I mean by simple and easy to produce you definitely want to do something in which, um, let's say you have an idea for a show and it's like 90 days. Like That is going to be a little bit hard to start off with, mostly because of the simple fact that when you're, st when you're just starting off um, trying to pitch your idea to a network, they want to just, you want to try to pitch them something that's easy and flexible and something that they can create like on the spot. So if you, do, if you guys remember, I believe it was before Big Brother 15, there was a show called Summer Camp. Um, that show was a pretty, I don't think it was like the whole summer, but it was, you know, a pretty simple concept show to make. And there was a lot of viewers for that show. Um, and it was, the concept was just easy. Like people chilling at a summer camp, you know, and voting each other up. Unfortunately, it was only there for one season. But um, something as simple as like, um, I don't know, like you could call it like the babysitter or whatever. And, um, you know, maybe two people have to babysit, you know, these kids or and who can last the longest or um, who the kids like the most or who the parents think, you know, who the parents think that the babysitter is better. Something like as simple as that. Um, it's easy to produce and you want and that will bring me back to my next thing. So, like I said before, a small cast. Um, you, there's a lot of um, reality shows out there where the host is the cast or. Yeah, the host is the cast, and it just makes things a little bit more easier when you're starting off making reality shows because you don't want to overcast. Um, I see that a lot when it comes to big, you know, if you're going to do a show that's like three days and you have a cast of like 20 people, one, you, those people are not going to get enough screen, screen time at all, so they'll be probably pissed off. And two, you're going to be spending a lot of money paying for your talent as well. So again, when you're just starting off, making your own reality show you want to make sure it's a realistic reality show in which if you cannot get the money for it that it's an easy concept and something in which like if a producer wants to produce it they they're not going to be spending too much money if they're not going to get any um you know money back in return so like so the next thing is original there are so many reality shows out there today guys oh my god there's so many cooking shows competition cooking shows and don't like i don't know why that's like the number one show right now but like um there's cooking shows that are popular dating shows that are popular like, like too hot to handle um love is love is blind the ultimatum um love island um are you the one there's so many fucking dating shows and cooking shows so maybe like start thinking outside the box and because a lot of viewers want to like start watching new stuff like viewers do not want to watch three or four or five cooking shows a week they, so producers most likely will want to produce your film if it's something original and that way it can gravitate towards new people watching the show and investing in the show next we have a different concept like i was saying different casting and a different game show if you're doing a reality tv game show um, I would say, you know, you, we have so many game shows out there. Who wants to million, be a millionaire? Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Um, you know, we, we, there's just so many, there's just so many game shows right there. So make it something that isn't even out there yet. Like, for example, like, um, the best filmmaker, that could be a reality show right there. Who, who could make the best films? Um, who's the, the best cosplayer? Um, who's the best lawyer? Um, I'm like, I was not gonna, I'm not gonna go with cooking. Um, the best employee, like maybe there's a bunch of different people that have to work different jobs and something as simple as that, like job, a job hunt or something like that, you know, who can, who can be the best employee? Um, you know, maybe who can be 
the best, I don't know, swimmer or something like that. Keep it simple um, and make it something original. There's just all you have to, in order to, if you want to make something original, just look at like what's at right now and just do the opposite. Like just do, don't do cooking shows. Don't pitch a fucking cooking show. Don't put, don't pitch a love show. Like do something different unless, you know, there's a specific um, network that wants to pitch those shows which I don't understand why they want, but it makes no sense to me. Next, um, start working with friends on Sizzles, then approach producers via IMDb Pro, email, or social media. Now, this one's a little tricky, guys. So what I mean by starting, start working with friends, let's say you want to do something, I, and I've did, I, and I've, even I've done this before. I've done um, the 10K challenge, so three friends have to eat 10,000 calories before um, anyone else does, and they win a certain prize. Um, that is just a sizzle concept because, um, you know, it's it's not it's not out to the public. It's not through the uh, the producers. So start working with friends on sizzles. It, it's a great opportunity for your friends to get on get some IMDb credit and stuff like that. And then when you're done with your you know little sizzle, you know, send out a hard hard email. Um, if you if you can maybe like message them on Instagram like anything like. Email them, social media, IMDb Pro. IMDb Pro, if you have the IMDb Pro account, you have access to um, emails and phone numbers of really high quality people that will are always looking for new shows to um, to produce. So those are just something. Those are just a couple of things that you can do in order to like get your show up and running. Um, it's it's definitely not an easy way, but I'm just being a realistic person right now, and I and if you have an idea for a reality show and it's like so easy, it doesn't cost like thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars. Like producers wouldn't mind actually making a show like that. If, if I'm just going to be completely honest. So the next thing we have is do not allow your feelings to overcome your thinking. Let the come, let the money come in first and then outreach. So let's say you have this dream reality show, guys, you want a million, you want millionaires to be competing, to be a billionaire. So, Obviously, you can't make that show happen because, one, it's, it's a shitload of fucking money to make. So start, have that idea, put it in a lock, set it aside, and try to work on something where you are passionate about, but just try to minimize it to make it a, more of a realistic way for producers to want to produce your show. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of shows that are low budget that will actually, that are actually really, really, really good. So, you know, don't, don't say like oh I'm, not, I'm never gonna make a show like that like just put it put it aside for now um because if, if people like your original if people are starting to like the way you're making reality shows then they'll gravitate towards you more and then maybe you'll get enough money to actually make your um your millionaires that want to be billionaire show i don't know um <clears throat> yeah find people who are invested in the show so you know that's that's when it comes to people people investing in your show, you want people... So if you're going to make a show about dogs, right? Like, who's the cutest dog? Can who Who's the best dog sitter? Your audience is going to be dog lovers, okay? So, you know, <laughs> th that's going to be your target audience. And so what I would say is try to look up how many people watch... Go on YouTube, type in dog lovers, see how many people watch... See, see how many people view those dog lover movies and clips and shows and stuff like that that will definitely um help p producers be like well this person's pitching to me the idea that there's a lot of dog lovers out there and you know people love pets so let's get it going so yeah definitely do a lot of research when it be when you're about to pitch your reality show or your reality tv game show to a producer um that could, like i said before that could have, that could be an email a phone number um or just like a social media post, or just anything, honestly. Um, the next thing we're going to do, um, do research on current reality shows as well as past reality shows. So, like I said before, this was this kind of goes back to the, the first one and the fourth one. Um, there's so many reality shows out there where it's like there's cooking reality shows. Um, there are so many dating reality shows. And just look at the ratings on those shows versus ratings of other shows. I know that's definitely um, you know something that is considered... I guarantee it is considered, but there are a lot of people, there are some people that do watch dating shows and cooking shows, um, but see if you can create a, a show in which 
you can have your own original reality TV game show that's simple, not that hard to produce, um, but just do research on like those top like like I said before about the the dogs like maybe you want to do a show like a, a show about who who's the cutest dog or maybe you have like the a dog costume for Halloween and who who can what dog lover can dress their dog <laughs> good I guess I don't know. Um, the next one is you can purchase your own equipment, rent, or hire someone. So if you just want to start off make, making a sizzle, you have three options. You can either buy your own equipment and start making your own sizzle, which basically is just a, a small little trailer. Um, and you can use copyright stuff if you want. It's, it's just a sizzle. It's not going anywhere. Um, you can rent out equipment for a day or two. That might be a good option if you're just doing it once or twice. Or you can just hire a DP to shoot your own stuff. You have plenty of options. So... Yeah, and the last thing is when creating a reality TV, when when creating a reality game show concept, keep it simple, especially starting off. So if you're gonna go, and you know you're gonna talk to a producer, or whatever you want to go in there. Let's let's pretend I'm about to go in to go talk to um, a producer right now. I'm walking in, you know, hold on. Let's I'm walking in. You know you don't see me. Hold on. Hey, my name is Christopher Wallace, and I am here to pitch you guys a reality show. Um, so right now, there are plenty of pet and dog lovers out there. And what what a great opportunity to showcase cute dogs, cute cats, and cute pets to millions of people that will want to watch it because everyone loves pets. Everyone loves dogs. Everyone loves cats. And everybody loves cute dogs and cute cats in costumes. And then you then you show them the views or how many people view these types of videos and stuff like that, and that is that's what's hit that's what's up right now. Like a lot of people like pets. Who wouldn't want to watch a show about pets? You know, even make it cute, get a little lower third, Trixie, King Charles. I'm gonna make him. In, I'm gonna make my King Charles into a pumpkin. You know, stuff like that. It's it's definitely something you're going to want to invest in because there are plenty of pet lovers out there. I'm going to call it the cutest dog or, or the cutest pet. It could just be fucking anything. Something as simple as that, you know, pretty easy thing to do. Um, and then I didn't put this on it before, but when it comes to um, like, let's say you actually do your own reality TV game show like me and you're waiting really patiently for distribution and stuff like that. Um, a couple of ways you can do that. Do not put your fucking episodes on YouTube. You are going to be missing out on so many opportunities with third-party platforms such as FilmHub. FilmHub is a great website where you can submit your own project and they will do all the work for you. They're, they're going to be the ones to um, watch all your episodes and see which where those um, episodes are going to be distributed to. Like So let's say you have a show about the cutest dog. Like, you know, Netflix could possibly pick that show up because, I mean, if Netflix can make a show about is this cake or not, like, I'm sure they will they can pitch, they can get the cutest dog up there. So um, don't give up and um, keep everything simple. And thank you so much, guys, for watching this. So this is um, a couple of tricks, tips for, um, this is the first part. I'm going to be making a couple more parts, but this is just a couple of um, tips and tricks to creating your own concept idea for a reality TV game show. Don't give up and reach out. Thank you and have an amazing day.